Uh, so my project was uh, understanding disordered eating in elite male athletes, and it was basically about uh, looking at some of the, the research uh, around disordered eating and uh, around athletes and um, looking at the, the gaps in the research because um, it's mostly based around female athletes and a lot of the research is a little bit outdated. Um, and just basically understanding uh, the issues that, that male athletes face in today's society, um, you know, re reflected in, in sports and, uh, and in their eating habits. My project was basically a summary of uh, research that, that has been done already. Uh, so I looked at a, a lot of different research articles uh, submitted in the last 10 years or so um, by researchers looking at specifically groups of male athletes, groups of professional athletes, uh, you know, cyclists, um, weightlifters, things like that, uh, and their eating habits and their, their views on disordered eating and, uh, and basically diagnoses with that. It's been a topic of interest for me because uh, I'm, I'm a track and field and distance running athlete, and so it's something that I've, I've noticed in my sport over the years. Uh, it's kind of kind of under um, underlying issue is that athletes don't really know how to talk about uh, body image issues and uh, disordered eating, and but it's definitely something that's there. So I wanted to just kind of I, I wanted to study and understand it more. I had a project, and I approached Dr. Zuliger and asked him if. Uh, if I could do that as, as my research project. Like I said, I approached him with the, with the topic, um, he okayed it, and he kind of guided me with finding some research that had to do with what I, exactly what I wanted to look at. Uh, and then in the last few months, um, just kind of back and forth a bit with uh, you know, helping me get ready for, for the presentation and uh, just a, a, some feedback on my project. Um, and so I thought it was a great area for him to see where what was out there already and I knew there was limited research in this area and so that I thought that would be a good thing for him to kind of go and dive in and see okay well why is that and and what sort of things um, might be causing that and where are areas we can improve um, on this and I think one of the biggest things that he realized and that you you realize from I think you know if you watch his presentation and you look at the research yourself potentially is that um, it's very narrow in focus, um, and it's driven largely by um, initial findings and what we've kind of anecdotally seen, which is a lot of times focusing on women um, in this topic. Um, so then as far as like mentoring them, actually, it was really, um, you know, he had to do it for class, and so he had to put it together as part of the senior seminar class in our, for HPPE. Um, they have to conduct a research project where they go out and find existing research on a particular topic of interest um, and then do a, a similar style presentation in class. And so from there, you know, he had a good start. And so it was just kind of reworking it, tweaking it, things like that, um, taking feedback and ways to make it a little bit more professional in presentation style. Um, so a lot of it was just kind of, you know, looking through his, his presentation and um, kind of coaching him up a little bit about um, how to kind of have your mannerisms, you know, your pacing, all that kind of stuff, and feel comfortable and confident and composed up there when you're presenting. So before I came to Adams, like I said, I had taken a couple years off school. I'd actually been to a couple different universities and to a junior college, and um, I really didn't enjoy any of it. I came to Adams, and uh, it changed my outlook on school a lot, and I, I really enjoyed my studies, um, and it's, it's really, which has gotten me, you know, to delve into it and... Um, just become a better student and understand my field better, which is definitely going to prepare me for a master's degree. Uh, the personal level uh, I deal with with my professors, I, I get a lot of feedback from them. Um, I, I feel that they're knowledgeable in their field and the, the courses that they do teach are courses that they care about and know a lot about. So um, it leaves me in the classroom feeling like, uh, you know, like it's something that matters and not just a class that I have to get through to get a degree.